Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Not so secret in the restroom on a holiday. Wait, it's a holiday? <laughs> what kind of holiday is it today? Good morning, Pobrove. Fun life up? Oh, we don't celebrate that apparently. Yeah, I don't think we do. <laughs> there's a cell there's a holiday on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Wait, Chris told me something about it, but I forgot again. Republic Day. Day of the Republic. Women voted or something, Corset. Or w women's, w yeah? First time women were allowed to vote. Let's go! I knew this. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm learning things. I'm learning so many things. All right. Where's the intro? There. Great memory. Thank you. <laughs> Women voting. Wow, what woke nonsense. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> hey, Straken. What's up? Kuros reached 15 stream streak. What is that? Stream streak. Is it like watching five, 15 streams in a row or something? Is that a new thing? Interesting. Is it shown anywhere? Oh, it's an additional thing to get points. Ah. All right, cool. All right, guys. So to the surprise of absolutely nobody, it took me forever to get everything done yesterday. But I didn't sleep at 1 a.m., which, you know, I, I went to bed at midnight, five past midnight. It could have been so much worse. <laughs> it could have been so much worse. I did so many things. I washed my hair. I removed the hairs off of my body because I'm going on a beach, you know. That... <laughs> I did my nails on my toes and my fingers. I cooked and ate it, of course. <laughs> there we go. What streak reach? James is currently on a 15 stream streak. Nice, James. <laughs> That's awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I got good news. Nice, Jacob. I finally had the auction for my rental apartment block of units. It sold to a new owner, and I think they're gonna get all of us ready to stay out. Nice, that's amazing, Jacob. That is so good to hear. Good morning, Bella. Bye, stream streak. Nice, Haggy. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. All the streaks coming in. Oh, and then I also, <laughs> dude, yesterday when they picked up the bat, because they picked up the second, like the bat, um, like the landlord lady, yeah. They arrived with four people and a car with a, what is it called? Like the thing that you can attach to a car, like a small little transporter thing where you put things inside. A trailer, yeah. They came with a trailer. And four people to pick up a bed that was literally like, like it was just like it was in parts. I, I'm pretty sure I could fit this bed in my car, in my golf. And I could put it there by myself. I'm pretty certain I could have put all of these parts into my own car with my own hands and my own strength. So I don't know why they brought four people. And a trailer, but you know, uh, <laughs> a ton is a bad then. I mean, it's it's disassembled, right? You can put a lot of things in your car if it's disassembled. <laughs> and the the mattress, I'm not sure. Well, the mattress I probably would have fit too. It's like a French bed, I guess. It's not like it's not quite like a a double bed, but it's like a bigger bed. 
I don't know. Either way, it would have fit into my golf, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> hey, Kalamazi, what's up? Good morning, Flirt Alert. How are you doing? But anyway, so that happened. Oh, shit. I forgot to send the landlord lady the number of my friend that wants to maybe rent this apartment. I will do this right now. Before I forget. Uh... Do 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 do. Where's she? What the hell? Did she not message me on WhatsApp? Oh, there. There we go. Um, so yeah, I did that. Then I packed my suitcase, which took me forever because apparently I can't bring a lot of stuff because we're only going for three days, four days. So I had to bring a small suitcase. So I don't know how people... <laughs> like usually when I bring a big suitcase, I don't think about what I'm gonna wear. I just put a lot of clothes into my suitcase and then I choose what I wear at my destination, right? So I don't have to think about it beforehand, which is a lot of, it's very convenient, you know? You just bring a bunch of like, you just bring like two long uh, pants, two shorts, a skirt, some dress, some, some shirts some long cardigans, some, you know, like you just bring a little bit of everything and then you decide what you wear when you're there. But apparently when you have to take a small suitcase, you have to decide what you're gonna wear beforehand because otherwise you're gonna bring too many clothes. So I had to sit there and actually think about what to wear, which took forever. <laughs> Cause we are like at the beach. So the first day's rain, like hear me out, yeah. <laughs> So it's raining today, like pouring rain, and it's also raining tomorrow. So I have to bring rainy day clothes, and then I have to bring going out clothes for the evening though. Cause we're gonna do rainy day things during the day, and then we go out in the evening. So I have to bring two outfits for tomorrow, right? That makes sense. And then on the next day we go on the beach because it's sunny. So I have to bring a beach outfit, and then I have to bring a going out outfit when it's not raining. So it's a rainy going out outfit and a not rainy going out outfit, right? This all makes sense, right? And then I have to bring an outfit for going out today because we're going to be arriving there. At the, and then I have to like change my clothes to something nicer because, you know, I'm going to be sweaty and whatnot. So we, I need like two rainy do going out days, outfits, and <laughs> one not rainy going out outfit. And then I have to bring all of, you know, like... I had to pick so many outfits, it's crazy. And then I had to bring running and running outfit because maybe we go running. M you know, David said, oh, maybe we should go running. It's like, okay, well, then I have to bring my running shoes. I have to bring running a running outfit, right? And then I have to bring flip-flops. And then I have to bring sandals. And I have to bring a flat iron, and I have to bring my makeup, and I have to bring, you know, it's like a lot of stuff. And then I also had to bring board games, because they said it's gonna be rain, so we should play video, ga uh, video games, board games. And I am the dedicated board game supplier, so I had to bring board games. <laughs> so how are you gonna fit that all into like a small suitcase, right? Turns out I couldn't. So... <laughs> 
Now I have a small suitcase and like a, a bag. But to be fair, I think that's okay because I had to bring board games. So I have an excuse. <laughs> Thank you so much for eight months, Celestia Monk. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Thank you, Rick Soros. I own 10 identical shirts, 20 identical boxes, 20 identical pairs of socks, and something from years ago. <laughs> That's why I actually am a little bit jealous of men sometimes when it comes to this stuff. Because I do like... Um, like, looking put together, like, looking nice, like, putting nice clothes on and stuff, right? But the downside of this is, like, the amount of time you're thinking about what to wear and what to do with your hair and with your makeup and whatever, it's like, I could be so productive. If I didn't have to do that. And I know I don't actually have to do that. But I kind of do. You know? If I was a guy, I would also just have 10 of the same shirts and 10 of the same pants. And just, like, wear the same thing. And then you wake up in the morning and you're just done. How amazing would that be? Dude, I would be so productive. If I would wake up, just, like, splash water in my face. Brush my teeth. My hair's probably perfect already as I wake up. I just wake up, it's just like, bam. And then you take the first shirts on your shirt. Uh, like, I don't know, your shirt drawer. And you take the pants of your pants drawer, like the, the one that's on the top. And you put it on, it's like, done. Man. It takes like 10 minutes. It's crazy, I'm so jealous. It's like magic. Thanks for 19 months, Yuko. Good morning, good morning, good morning. A quick tip, a dress that you can roll up, count as a full outfit and don't take too much storage. That way you literally can put three outfits like that. I know, Yuko. The problem is I don't like dresses on me. It's the problem. I just think I don't look good in dresses. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know, I just can't do dresses. It's, it's a... I wish I would like dress- like, I like the way dresses look on other people. I just don't like the way dresses look on me. <laughs> I don't know, since becoming a mother, picking what to wear has gone way down my priority list. Yeah. <laughs> like fancy dresses? Any dress. Well, actually, like, the only dresses I do like on me are like um, tight dresses, like skin tight dresses that are a bit shorter above your knee. I think those look kind of good on me and all the other dresses just look so, I don't know, like they just like look weird on me. I don't know why. I think it's because I have broad shoulders. Like my shoulders are a bit wide. And if I wear a dress that is loose, like that is like hanging down, then the widest point is my shoulders, and then it hangs down like very white. You know what I mean? So it just looks like a maternity dress. I don't know. And you can solve that issue kind of by like wearing a belt. So you can wear a dress and then like put a belt on your waist. But I feel like that also just doesn't look good. So I don't know. I just can't do dresses. If I wear like skin tight dresses, the one that like actually like touch your body everywhere, <laughs> then it looks fine. It's just like these like baggy dresses that just look kind of shitty on me. I don't know why. But I think they're beautiful. Like every time I see the dresses, I'm like, oh my God, it's so nice. And then I put it on and I'm like, no. <laughs> just no. All right, let's play video games. So, we need an Altharis. What about an 18 Altharis? <laughs> older man. Uh, do I want to do older man? I, mean, I guess I kind of have to know. I want some score. Let me try and dress this in the video. <laughs> mm. I 
think I have to... Wait. Mm -mm -mm. Is the in-game sound gone again? No, it's not, right? It's just very quiet. Hey, John. Thanks for 11 months. Another month, another day. Shilling for a dab. <laughs> I played with a dab evoker yesterday. It was funny because I didn't notice until the first boss. And then I was like, when is he going to use breath? And then I looked like, oh, it's a dab evoker. And then RT, my tank whispered me, I just now noticed that our evoker is the wrong spec. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, same. <laughs> I, need to, I need six uh, dinars to reroll from rest of spells. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to reroll one spec to the other, it really is annoying with the dinars. Yeah, that really sucks. Dreamminder is good, though. Dreamminder is a good weapon. That's totally fine. And Whispery Icon is also really good. I think it's really good. Also, Asher Valtrine is also really good. You mean the the Umbral scale? It's really good. Don't worry about it. You have good gear. Uh. All right. Wrong. Yeah, he's at the wrong spot. <laughs> All right, and then, um, and then today in the morning, I put my alarm at six fifty. Because I was thinking, I can't be, like, super tired today. That would suck. Because I went to bed at, like, 30 past midnight. 30 minutes past midnight, approximately. So I put my alarm at 6.50. Uh, and then um, I went to the construction site. It was pouring rain. Very annoying. But yeah, I went to a construction site and I talked to the the tileologists that put the tiles into my bathroom and into my washroom and stuff. Um, and they were very cool. They were already there. I arrived there like 20 past 8 or so, 15 past 8, and they were there, so that was good. Um, and they hadn't started yet, but they had all the tiles in there already. And then, really, all of the questions they had, they did not need me. Like, I didn't need to go there. I definitely went there for no reason. But anyway, so they asked me, like some of these questions, I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna ask you this question now, see what you guys say. Like, I just don't know. Like, I don't, they should just do it the way they think is best, I think, because they, they are the specialists, right? But anyway, so, uh, so the bathroom, like, I have the bathtub here. I'm going to do this. Okay, so here's the wall. This is the floor. And then the bathtub is, is here. All right. Bathtub. There you go. <laughs> and then there's a little bit of a... Like, obviously, there's going to be tiles here in front, yeah? So this is just going to be tiled. Um, and then here in the back, there's like a, a bit of a thing where I can put stuff. And they asked me 
if they should put the tile um the tiles like directly like with the bathtub starting or slightly underneath and then there's like a little bit of a like so because the side of the bathtub is like this right like it goes around like this and then they asked me basically if the tiles or like the thing at the back should be down here or if you should go up and be like this and i'm just like i don't know yeah i was thinking same height too right like i was thinking yeah of course same height but then he told me that same height i would only do if he used the bathtub a lot so he said you should only do this if you use the bathtub a lot, like if you take showers in it or if you bath a lot because of the water that is splashing onto here and then it like, because they can tilt it a little bit and then the water will come off again. If you put it like this, then there might be water that is just like sitting there. That is annoying. But he said if I don't use the bathtub a lot, which I won't, then he would do it like this because it looks better. But I couldn't imagine it in my head. I was like, why does it look better? Like, I don't get it. But, I mean, he said it looks better. And if he thinks it looks better, I mean, he's probably right. I don't know. I'm going to Google some pictures now. Oh yeah, I found some pictures. Okay, so this for example here. Oh wait, I need to open this in a different way. Yeah, so this one here, for example, is underneath. You see? Them? Like here, the tiles go under. They're not the or. It looks like it's under. I mean, this is just a rendering anyway. Here, it's it's with the with the bathtub. Like here, it's the same. And here, it's underneath again. You see? Them? I think underneath does look a bit better than this. I think they are right. I think it does look a bit better if it's underneath. Hmm. Well, either way, I said he should do whatever looks better. So I'm going to get the underneath thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, so this one also is not underneath. Yeah, there, it, there's something off about it. Now that I see it. Yeah, it does look better when it's not underneath. Uh, when, when it's not level. Yeah. Interesting. Well, anyway, so they asked me questions like this where I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> don't forget you have to clean it. I, I don't care about cleaning. People, whenever people say, oh, think about the cleaning, I'm like, no. I don't care about the cleaning. <laughs> Consider your tile format and how it will fit with the height of the tub. Now nah, I'm sure they'll know that. 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure they'll figure that out. See, this is why I was confused and why they, they wanted me there. Then what else did they ask me? So they asked me about that. And then they asked me if I want, because I'm like, the, oh my God, I also saw the tiles for the first time. The tiles that I chose for the bathroom, I saw them for the first time. They're so pretty. <laughs> they're actually so pretty. I didn't know they're gonna be that pretty. They look so cool. I'm super excited. They said they're gonna be done with the tiles uh, mid of next week. I'm super excited to see it once it's done. And they're huge. They're like they're insanely huge tiles. Jesus Christ. And then. And they also said they were a little bit annoyed. I, I wasn't aware. I mean, obviously don't know how you put tiles into a room. I have no idea, obviously. But apparently the floor wasn't level. So they had to, um, they had to like remove parts of the floor and then also fill up other parts of the floor to make it level. Which sucks for them. So they complain about that a little bit. And also they complain how every, everything has to be fast, fast, fast. And that's why things are a bit, you know. I hate that about construction um, stuff nowadays. I feel like in the past we had such high quality construction um, companies here. Like I feel like South Tyrolean construction companies were known to be very, like, very good. They even, um, like some of the companies from South Tyrol um, were hired to do things like all over the world because uh, we were known to build like very good houses, I guess, and very like stable and good quality houses. And I think in the past like few years, the quality of the work has gone down quite a lot because they just want to do everything so much faster. And by doing things faster, you're going to be less um, clean. And then things are just like, ugh. I hate that because the prices for houses went up, right? So everything is more expensive, but they are doing things quicker, which means it's less, less quality. Very unfortunate. But I hope they fix it all with my apartment. I hope they don't do anything like super fast. They started building or they started um, with the construction site last year in September. And they're probably going to be done in October this year. That's kind of fast. Thank you so much for 27 months, the golden. What's up? Thank you so much. We don't clean, we just retile. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If something's if something's dirty, just buy it so buy a new one. Just throw it away, buy a new one. I don't clean my clothes, I just buy new ones. I also don't clean my <laughs> my plates or my dishes. Just buy new plates. You know how much money you're gonna save on not having Rally to buy a washing crack. machine and uh, a dishwasher? Have you ever thought about that, huh? How much more space you have in your apartment if you don't need a dishwasher and a washing machine? Yeah. Or a dryer? <laughs> and then the tilologists were also uh, they were saying how nice my tiles are and that they're happy that they can put some nice looking tiles into an apartment because usually they just put really boring ones. So it's like, you walk off. <laughs> Saves water better for the environment? Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> Actually true.
Cut I know. I'm going round, round my head. Round, round, round my head. I used to work as a tiler, and the amount of horrible tiles I used to have to install was heartbreaking. <laughs> it's interesting to me that, well, I guess it does make sense that. Um, as a Tyler, you would enjoy putting like cooler and looking tiles compared to like really shitty ones. Also, I guess it's boring if everyone just also always just puts the same. Like if you always tile the same tiles, it's it's like ugh. I guess. So if you have some different ones and some cooler ones, I can see how that's more interesting. People have some extraordinarily bad taste. <laughs> hey, Sans Reflex, thank you, yeah. I figured I'm just gonna go short. It's the summer coming up, you know. Why not? Oh yeah, that's actually a good point too, Baron. Yeah, it's a good point. That you need pictures of your work, but if they have really bad tiles then your work also just automatically looks worse even if it's not worse just because the tiles look bad right yeah that makes sense <laughs> oh wait i'm in a group <laughs> i forgot no Paris. City, yep. Do I need to spell here is the question. I guess I do. Fuck. Do I? Can't evoker this no they can't, right? Fuck. Evokers can't do curse, right? They can only cauterize. Shit. Okay, whatever. Who needs innervate? Um, you have to move it around a little bit. So in the Omni 3 settings, you have to move it around with the X and Y axis. Um, I don't remember exactly how I did it, because it's a long time that I set it up. Uh, here, dungeon's position, and then here you have an X offset and a Y offset, and then you just move it around until it fits, because it, if you change the, the offset, um, it moves them all like parallel, so you can just line it up perfectly. And then you can also change the columns here as well. Because once they're column, you basically just want the icons to fit your frame. So for example, you need to decide, do I want four icons per row? Do I want three? Do I want two icons per row? And then depending on how many icons you want per row, you need to adjust the position, uh, the, the size or the width of the icon to make sure it fits your frame, right? And you can do that by icons here. Here, I can size. Uh, yeah, I can size. I think I just changed this. So you just change the size of the icon, and then you just enable the test, I guess. Okay, no, that's useless. <laughs> and then you just make sure the icons are the same size as your frame, and then, you know, you move from there. I have other icons that show up on the side. 
Five, I don't know. Four. What three, dragons those are? Maybe two, that's like at something one. else. Alright, let's do this. Guys, it's Big Friday today. For me. Oh my god. I just now realized. Shielded. I just realized. Sorry, I'm from? just like lining this. I just realized it's Big Friday! Because uh, I'm going on holiday! Wait, we sent them already? Fuck. Shielded. How fast are more like ramping, dude? Zephyr. I needed some more time. That stun was a bit too early for me. But yeah, it's Big Friday because I'm going on holiday. Well, later. Yeah, at noon. I'm leaving at noon. Until Sunday. So that means it's Big Friday on a Wednesday. Unbelievable. Hey Ace, I'm online early because I'm leaving for holidays soonish. In two hours. Thanks for 15 streak ace i don't should I thank Shield. people for this i don't know this is like a new feature with the streak and it's really cool but Cauterizing flame. i don't think that's something you thank people for or i don't know I didn't add the stun, right? I didn't add the stun to my... Oh! Put aggro from the sky! Shielded. I take so much damage. <laughs> See, it's worth to get back into WoW. I had a position when Rank Valor released, so a position would like to tank and have the whole content to do. Um, So if you want to play the war within, you don't have to start playing now. There's absolutely no benefit to start playing now. Like, you really don't have to. But, um... Is it gonna hurt to play now? No, I mean, if you like it. Like, to, if you want to play now, you would play now because you enjoy it. Not because you need to play now to prepare for the war within. Okay? So if you only, if you don't care about Dragonflight at all, and you just want to play the War Within, there's no benefit in playing now. Do you want to play now because you enjoy the game now? Then obviously, yeah. But that's something you have to decide for yourself. Because no one can tell you if the game is enjoyable to you at the moment. Yeah, I know that there's a holiday today in some countries, not in Italy, though. We're not celebrating today. Or, we're not taking a day off today. Oh, we're bucked. Well, uh, fuck, I guess. Guess we die.
There's no way we can heal this, or can we? Shielded. Scales bane indeed! Another Tagma flows! Hey, well, I lift. But I'm the only one that lift. Oh. Trophy for my I should have not been worried because the, the priest was still in in holy form. Shit. I mean, why wouldn't you let me Another reset? I can rest. <laughs> like the tanks tried to shut him out, but like I am the one with the rest. <laughs> But it doesn't matter, I guess we're faster running anyway. Can they fix this boss, by the way? Like... Like Blizzard. Hey, John. This guy I'll here, Charga. That boss that is in uh, Naltharis. That has been oh, in the game right. since the start of Dragonflight. Yep, that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still bugged. You might want to like take a look, you know? Thank you, bye. I got you covered, guys. John's gonna fix it. Oh shit. Okay, well. <laughs> Shit, our incarnate infernal is still on cooldown. A lucky step. <laughs> Shielded. Um, so make, yeah, Cora's gonna help you with your UI questions. Um, just go on Discord and send screenshots so you can help you there. Melanie. You can play with one hand. Sure, you can play with one hand. Shielded. My bad. Shielded. So you can play with one hand if you don't need um, your mouse. I don't have an MMO mouse, so all, all of my keybinds, or most of my keybinds, are on my keyboard. That means I don't need to use my mouse. For anything. Except targeting nameplates. So I cannot play with one hand if I have to target through nameplates. <gasps> Shit, we don't have a rest. Shielded. 
Eyes and those eyes like the power of a moon. So we have to target nameplates. I can't play with one man because obviously I need my mouse to target nameplates. And then the couple of um, keybinds I have on my... Uh, fuck me. The keybinds I have on my mouse. I need the mouse for it too, of course. But I don't have that many. Could you explain how to collect secondary sets to make the most out of them? As I understand, the PS HPS relies on them a lot. Um, yes, it does. You mean the distribution of your secondary sets, I assume? Because you collect secondary sets by just having, like, by equipping items, yeah. But, um, I assume you mean how to distribute your secondary sets. Like, which sets to go for, basically. And if that is the question, Shielded. then the answer is almost always you need to sim your character. Unless you're a healer, then of course simming your character is not gonna work. And if you're a healer, then um, you basically want to make sure you read guides or you join class discords. Um, and you check out which stats to what. First of all, it's important to understand for you what stats to what. I think it's very important to understand what stats are good for, because some people are like blindly going for stats because a guy told them so, um, and then they don't understand what a stat does, and then they can't logically um, change the stats around depending on what they need, because depending on which situation you're in, stats are going to be more or less useful. A somewhat good example is mastery for Rasta Druids. Or any healer mastery is going to be a little bit specific, right? And depending on the content you do, mastery is going to be better or worse. Depending on how many people you have to heal. Cauterizing flame. So yeah, you should follow a guide and you should definitely see what the guide tells you to do. But then, in addition, you should also make sure that you're understanding why a certain stat is recommended for you. And then also see if whatever you are doing requires that stat as well. I wish maybe prioritize that's a little bit differently as a healer specifically. And the same thing goes for damage healers too, honestly. Like sometimes damage healers go for a certain stat because the guide tells them to, but the guide is more for single targets for raiding. While for plastic that distribution might be better um, differently, you know? And maybe certain stats are better for AoE and others are better for single target, right? Shielded. And then you also have to keep in mind diminishing returns. And it's not that complicated. You should just see your character and you're fine. Hey, Pei, what's up? You shouldn't overthink it, honestly. But there's a thing that is called diminishing returns. And 
basically it. just it basically just means that if you have a lot of one stats and very little of an other set then the value of the stat that you don't have a lot of might go up shielded cauterizing flame just because you don't have a lot of it it's just the value of a set goes down eventually when you have so much of it and it's not that the value of the other set goes up um, it's just the value of the goods that goes down and then in relation the set that you don't have a lot of goes up, right? So let's say generally speaking crit is a bad set for you Which yes, it's true if all of your stats are normalized If you have a hundred or if you have a thousand crit a thousand haste a thousand mastery a thousand everything, right? then crit is a bad set for you but this is not the case, right? We don't have normalized stats. We don't have the same of everything. So if you have a lot more of your best stats and very, very little of your worst stat, then it's very possible that your worst stat is going to be better for you for the moment than your best stat until you have a little bit more of your worst stat. But that is something that Simcraft is going to tell you. Shielded. This is why um, we usually don't follow like stat weights. We usually just sim things because it gets so complicated, you know, that it's impossible to follow like a certain like priority thing. Because it's very, very individual. It very much depends what gear you have on your character and what stats you have. And it changes very drastically by just changing like an enchant. So let's say you change one and chat like say you have a little bit um, low crit and then it tells you to put a crit and chance and then once you put the crit and chance all of a sudden you don't care about crit anymore and you want to do all of the other things right so send me a character and also logically um, understanding the sims is what you should be doing for example when you're simming um, gems shielded to see which gems you should be using. Make sure you see what the difference in game is as well. Because sometimes people are saving gems and they're like, oh, I should put everything crit. So they change all of their gems around. Symbol of hope. But it turns out that changing all of the gems was only like a, like a very minor, minor DPS game. If that is the case, if it's if you only gain very little, very little from changing your gems around, you probably shouldn't do it because you change one gem and then it's going to be different again. First of all, and second of all, um, you're only seeming a certain situation, right? You're seeming only single target or only AOE. And World of Warcraft is not just single target, not just AOE. It's everything a little, right? So generally speaking, your best stat that is considered your best stat by the theory crafters, that one is going to be overtaking your worst stat if the difference is small, because your best stat is probably better for most situations while compared to your worst stat, right? So if you're simming your gems and master is your best stat and crit is your worst stat, but the sim says you should be putting all gems into crit, then you should maybe think about it a little bit first. Be like, okay, why is it telling me to put everything crit? Is it because my crit is like super, super low? And if the answer is yes, and it actually gives you a big damage gain to put crit gems, then instead of putting crit gems, you could consider to maybe switch a ring, you know? So instead of changing all of your gems around, you could say, hey, uh, maybe I change one of my rings to a crit ring crit mastery ring instead of a mastery haste ring or something if you have one lying around or you could craft an night you can craft an item with mastery crit and then see if that helps and if the damage difference is very very minor between your mastery and your crit gems then you should just ignore it at that point it's whatever 
Because a really, really tiny DPS gain is not going to make a difference. Especially Shield because, it. as I said, you're only simming one situation. For a different situation, it might look different again. For a master, is better again. Shielded. If you get a new piece of gear and you think it might be better, the new current item, then you can just easily uh, compare it by simming it. Um, I usually, when I'm simming <coughs> items, <coughs> especially if I mainly play in plus, which I do right now, then I usually make sure that I'm not only simming single target, but I'm also simming AoE. And then I compare the the outcomes you can also sim and plus specifically with like the mdt um zephyr loadout that one i haven't really tried yet myself though but i know apparently does work really well but what you can do if you just want to sim generally for m plus um, you can just sim single target, because obviously in the plus you have to do single target as well. And then you can sim AoE, so patchwork like 8 targets or 10 targets or whatever. And then you compare the results. So if one item is like much much better for single target than the other, but for AoE the other item is better, but only a little, then I would go for the item that is better for single target, right? Because if the difference for AoE is very small, but for single target it's in favor of one item, then I would go for the one that is slightly worse than AoE. Just because, as I said, single target obviously matters too. And I'm not willing to lose a lot of single target damage just to gain very little AoE damage, right? So it's, it's always a trade-off, but you have to think about Shield it. Um, how much you're trading, right? Because, yeah, we all know that AoE damage is the, is the most important thing for M+. But is it so important that you would be sacrificing, like, 20% of your single target damage? Probably not. Unless you're gaining a lot of AoE then. Rikasa. <laughs> so, you want to understand how secondary sets work? Well, my parents met in <laughs> on a rainy day in fall. <laughs> hey, Atlas, thank you so much for Prime. What's up? <laughs> Perfect melody. Shielded. I'm glad we figured it out. Oh, sorry, that's a interesting charge. We should probably get out of here. Or should we? I don't know. Zephyr. Yeah, this is probably good. Shielded. Shielded.
Uh. Oh shit! Dude, I forgot we did the different rounds. Oh my god. Shielded. Are we killing this blaze swing? Or is he gonna cast one more AoE? He's gonna cast one more AoE. Jesus, kill it! Oh, thank the Lord. Shielded. Of course, of course, I just now remember this. I remember this the last time as well, and then I forgot again while I saw when I spoke about it. So there was a <laughs> this Call of Duty tournament that my brother participated in, a South Carolinian one that he won. It was organized by Dung and SM1G or whatever they're called, SM1. And apparently there was a woman last, participating. We pulled. The and she was from South Arrow, today. from um, Ladin, from a Ladin Valley, from uh, Bel Air, basically, yeah. And she streams in English. And I think her name is. Fuck, I don't remember her name. That's the problem. Flame. I want to figure out. I want to find her Twitch account. Royal. But I forgot. Did he say her name was like an embarrassment of riches? Nah, I don't remember. Ember, was it Julia? Shielded. Flame. Roast in flame. Can't beat the heat. Do you think he can somehow investigate this? Can probably find her. Thank you. An embarrassment of riches. Shielded. Come forth and consume. Roast in flame. An embarrassment of riches. Oh, my God, I got three uh, wands. Royal. Let's go. It wasn't actually important to shadow melt, but I did it anyway. <laughs> hey, Mira.
Man, my my back hurts today. Be well, it doesn't hurt. It's just sore from my workout yesterday. <laughs> oh. That means it worked, though, right? I hope. I'm gonna get back like this. I won't be able to fit through door frames anymore. Alright. It's already 11. It's already 11. TwitchCon. Early bird tickets discount for San Diego. Let's go. Oh, I don't think I'm flying to San Diego, actually. Okay, so we can do... We can do two more keys if we're fast. I have to think, dude, did I pack everything? <laughs> so what did I do? <sighs> okay, I just have to drive. I wanted to go to DM. So I guess if I leave it, I like... 15 past noon or so. Then I'm gonna be totally fine. So I need like 15 minutes to get to the city, and then I can go to the M, and then I need to park my car, and then, yeah. I think I packed everything. <sighs> what do you need on a four day vacation to a beach? Clothes? Like <laughs> going out clothes and beach clothes? Bikini? A uh, towel, I brought a towel. Uh, sunscreen. <laughs> That's it. I brought board games and I found this like ball. <laughs> it's literally a ball to play. And I was like, let's go. We can throw a ball around on the beach. I brought that one too. It's like a tiny one. Yes, <laughs> Ruby. Hey, Snacks. I do. I hope you have a nice day yourself. Sure, I could go to a nude beach and I don't need to bring clothes at all. I always struggle with where to look during a key. How do you be aware of your rotation while keeping track of mechanics? I think whatever you're struggling with is just the lack of muscle memory. Like, I think a big portion of... Like, I think Mythic Plus and PvE in general is almost exclusively experience and remembering things. Because if you play a dungeon a million times, you don't actively have to pay attention to things anymore. You're just... Like, you just know they're gonna happen, you know? Like, it's just in... It's just so deep in your memory. You don't actively have to think about what's gonna happen. You just kind of know what's gonna happen. Like, it's just... It's just imprinted in your brain. Same with your rotation. If you play your spec a lot, you will not have to actively look and think, oh, what am I gonna press next? What am I gonna do next? When is this gonna happen? Blah, blah, blah. Like, it just kind of happens. It's like riding a bike or skiing or whatever. Any kind of skill that you can learn that is initially difficult and you have to actively think, what am I doing with my limbs? What am I doing with my hand? What am I doing with like blah, blah, blah. Like once you're more experienced, this just happens naturally. And it's the same with playing video games, especially in PV. Because at some point you just know this mob casts this ability and on this pack I have to pay attention to what this mob does. And on this pack, I only have to think about that. And on this pack, I only have to think about this. Because whenever, when you do a dungeon and you're not 100% aware of the packs that you're pulling, then it's gonna require so much more of your brain power because you have to look at everything, right? And let's say this, these stack beetles here are a pack we pull. Let's say they're all different mobs and you don't know what the mobs are doing. Well, then you have to, or you're not like fully aware. Then you constantly have to look, oh, is this guy gonna cast something? Do I have to interrupt this? Is this guy gonna cast, like, what is happening, right? 
But if you have pulled the pack a million times, you know exactly what the pack is doing. Then you know, okay, this mob I can completely ignore. It does nothing to me, at least. And this mob I can ignore. It does nothing. And this mob casts something once in a while that I have to interrupt. So that my focus only goes on this mob because I know I have to interrupt this mob once in a while. And that's it. So your brain is not as stressed and not as busy thinking about like a million things because I can all I know I have to only focus on this one thing. So it's mainly just playing the game. The trick to being good at PvE is to play the game a lot. <laughs> Certainly a good UI helps too. Oh, for sure. Because it doesn't help. Like, if your UI is bad, then your experience is going to be irrelevant if you don't see what you need to focus on, right? Like, again, like, if... Let's focus on these four nameplates here. If one of these mobs is important and needs to be interrupted, but I don't see that it's casting because my nameplates are like overlapping each other, well then, no matter how much experience I have, I just don't see what I have to see, right? So UI is of course important too. It's, um, it's important because you need to see the things that are important to you and you need to make sure that you're not seeing things that are not important to you because otherwise you're just going to be overwhelmed with all of this information that's uh, irrelevant to you. And thank you so much for 52 months, Dilo. I appreciate that. Danke, danke, danke. We get. <laughs> hey, Matteo, by the way, what's up, what's up? How have you been? So what do we do now, actually? We need an Alderman. I really don't want to do Alderman, though. Shit, they have a Feral! You can play with Fear of a Lunar, New Moon, it doesn't matter. It's kind of the same thing, really. Thanks for Prime Chicken. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. The main difference is that New Moon is better for single targets. All right, thanks for four months. In Texas, what's up? What's up? What's up? Danke und Salom, ja gut, ja. Jetzt bin ich zurückgekommen vom um, Urlaub, jetzt war in Spanien und heute fahre ich schon wieder in Urlaub. <lacht> bisschen jeseler. Aber es schifft leider ein bisschen heute Morgen. Aber ja. Samstag sind es nicht schön. Ja eben, hau ich nicht weit genug ab. Ich fahre zwar in Urlaub, aber nicht weit genug, dass es schönes Wetter war. <lacht> eben nicht weit genug.
Is Ask Mr. Robot a valid alternative to rate bots? No, absolutely not. I do not recommend Ask Mr. Robot for anything. How is there no keys? Oh my god, I forgot that I have a cup of tea. Oh no, it's gonna be so cold now. Mm. Chase solo? <laughs> <laughs> ja, han var igen her for... Ja, jeg er også i venige over for at lade bruge mig kvare. Han var jo ved at han har forsøgt at lade dræften. <laughs> Und fodboldmannschaften. <laughs> det er også bare at det er så drift, indtil jeg såler. And this season is a bit doomed because they um, release so many other things simultaneously, so... Sucks a bit. Vielleicht was du wieder... Kuros, did you figure out what um, the streamer was called? No, right? Was du wieder Turnier da war... Da war es ja Call of Duty Turnier. Jetzt war es nicht wirklich ein Turnier. Also da war kein Preis oder nix. Und das war ein Samstag? Und da hat irgendeine Südtiroler Streamerin mitgespielt. Von Graden. Kennst du den zufällig? Der Michi, mein kleiner Bruder, hat erzählt, dass er mitgespielt hat und dass er gewungen hat. Und er hat gesagt, dass so eine Streamerin eben war von Graden. Und jetzt habe ich ganz vergessen, wie sie heißt. Und ich suche die gern. Hey Lotus, what's up, what's up, how are you? I'd like to know your personal opinion about healer damage and plus. Do you value a good healer if he does damage or just about how he heals? I mean, I've, like, I personally think that, like, whenever it does, it's not only healers, but also any other role. Like, I judge them based on all of the things. Like, for example, let's say there's a damage dealer that can do a lot of damage, but they never press their CC correctly or the defensives, then I think they're not a good player, right? Like, I think a good player needs to do all of the things well, not just one thing well. If a tank is really good at surviving, but they're really bad at playing around affixes and constantly healing mobs with Sanguine, or they can't do any damage at all, then they're not a good tank, in my opinion. It's the same for a healer. If a healer can heal really well, but they're not ever pressing any damage buttons properly, and they're not doing any damage, and they're not um, using their utility properly, well, then I also think they're not such a good healer, right? I think no matter which role, you have to do all the things well. It's for me to be considered a good player. And skip. Yeah, you can come down to the th south, guys. All of the, the Germans that live in the north, you can come down here. It's nicer here anyway. We have mountains. We have, I don't know, Weisbost. <laughs> Brezen, <laughs> beer. <laughs> what else do you want in life? I didn't mountains, rice, wash, bread, brezen, and beer. <laughs> and a nice sounding dialect, of course. We have mountains and more mountains. <laughs> Obviously, what you want to be north, closer to Denmark? I don't know, 
about that one, Lotus. Mm, I don't know about that one. Da -da. <laughs> Carol never forgive Denmark for rooting Glühwein. Yes! They have Gluck and they put raisins in it. I still just can't believe it. Dude, okay. I have a confession to make. I need it. <laughs> I have to say this now. I I wasn't sure if I should tell you this, but it's time. So you know how I'm known to hate raisins, yeah? And how I said they ruin everything? But recently I tried raisins in some of the meals because I'm currently in my era where I try things that I think I hate just to see if I still hate them or if I change my mind. I tried olives, for example, multiple times lately to see if I like them. The answer is no, I still don't like them. Carrots, I tried carrots, still don't like them. If they're cooked, they're not, they, I don't mind them. But if they're raw, horrible. I like corn now. I didn't like corn before, and now I kind of like it. So I'm in the era where I try things. So, dried fruit, not my thing, yeah? Raisins, one of them, don't like it. But, recently I tried raisins in some fr foods. For example, I was in Tangier, which is in Morocco, and I ordered this dish, which was couscous with uh, vegetables and like some sauce and there was raisins in it I was not aware that there are gonna be raisins in it yeah and I tried it and it was actually very good there was something about it because the raisins were like filled with the sauce like they were dry they they like absorbed the sauce and they're sweet in a savory dish, right? Because it was savory. It was vegetables and uh, couscous. It was like a savory dish. But these, the sweetness of the raisins kind of just fit in there, you know? It just, it, it just fit. <laughs> and then I liked it. I don't know. I still don't think that I actually like raisins. Like, I don't like like them. But maybe I don't hate them as much as I thought. <laughs> maybe it just depends what they're in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it is alky, yeah. It does feel bad to be a monkey. <laughs> Uh, this season, at least at the moment. It's not that Munkin is horrible. It's just that there's not that many people playing at all currently, and then they just rather invite other people. Two new ones that don't trust the stake. I don't need. Lisa? It could be Lisa. Could be. I know what she looks like because my brother uh, showed me a picture. Wait, so she does have Twitch linked? Hmm. Well, maybe she just streamed the tournament? Hmm. Let me see him. Yes, it's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is her, and I think the 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 woman that's on the picture is her. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Did they link her? 
Instagram somewhere? They didn't link her Instagram. Guys, I'm not getting invited to Kia. All I want to do is play video games before I leave. Oh, she does have Twitch on Instagram. Interesting. There's some licorice in this uh, tea and I don't like it. Why did they put licorice in all of the things? Oh my god. One second. There I am. Hey, Longley Pro. Thank you so much for Prime. How are you doing? Oh, there. Found her nice. They like to stream from time to time. Hi, I'm Smilisa, and I like to stream from time to time. Uh, what am I supposed to say here? Bye, <laughs> uh, Yeah. <laughs> I hope to stream a little bit more in the future because I haven't like been the best streamer in the past because I'm studying, you know, I'm studying computer science. I am in my last year, which means that I have a lot of stuff to do, but still I enjoy gaming so much, so I really try to stream and I hope I like her. All right, so she studies computer science. I'm going to study computer science. Oh, uh, in my chat, so come say hi. Uh -huh. Cute. I we'll mainly play Apex Legends and Call of Duty. Perfect. I used to have a fixed schedule, but from now on, it will be more spontaneous. Therefore, if you follow me, you get a notification that you never miss the stream. When did you stream last time? Last month? Oh no, four days ago. Yeah, I guess she doesn't stream that often anymore. Shit. She actually used to stream regularly. And no one told me about her. What do people that tell me that they're... Dude, if any South Aurelian starts streaming, they should just tell me. I would just host them every day. <laughs> Why do people just love me like, hey, the girl? Maybe she doesn't even know I exist. <laughs> I guess that could be. <laughs> Thanks for five months, Akira. What's up? Thank you so much. 
Man. She's so cute too. Hi, I'm Smileyza and I like to stream from Pen. I like her. She had a trailer three Hi, years ago. To my channel. I am Smileyza and this is I can't believe She's she's been streaming for, <laughs> for three years ago. I don't I don't know about this. Anyway. If she ever streams and you know this course, let me know. <laughs> So, thank you. My fucking tank didn't buy you. Apparently not. Can you imagine? You can buy. You can buy the ring if you want, Mogo. Like the Diorna ring, for example. Let's get moving. No. You don't tell me what to do, watch. Da, 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 da. Mm, mm, mm. Da, 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 da. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Any older months? What's the time? Oh my god, I actually have to hurry up a little bit now. If I want to leave at noon. Fuck. Because the ultimate is a long key. Maybe I just do a shorter key. Like Academy or North or Ruby or Vault. Da, 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 da. Hey Patty, thanks for 14 months. Oh, I got invited. Okay, let's let's go. <laughs> Shit, wait, this group doesn't have a tank yet though. Mm. Well, it's fine because I packed everything, right? I'm gonna think again. I don't need a um, a passport, right? No, nah. At least you're not leaving the country. <laughs> so. Do I need an umbrella? Ooh, that's a good point. I should probably bring an umbrella. I'm gonna go put one in the bag real quick. Before, do I have one here? Or do I need to go get it from my car? I'm gonna take a look. I could bring one of these like oh I should I have these like mats like these like these like beach mat things that you put on the sand and then you could put a towel on top ooh I should bring that I have it in the basement hmm Good point, I'll pick that up before I leave. Does the hotel we have a, have a swimming pool? Probably not. Do you never know? Stair pool, wait, there might be a pool actually.
if it has a pool, I could bring my my like the the, the, the mattress, like the thing that they put onto the water. Because I have like a really cool one with like a net, so you're in the water, but you're still like floating. It's it's very nice. Thanks for nine months to one unit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, I'm leaving this here. I need to do a shorter one. If I want to pack all of these things still. Ah, shit. Well, they, they're not going to find a tank anyway. Okay. Quick here. What? Shit. We can just do a low key. I'm going down thing. I'm sorry. I I don't have enough time. I need to leave at noon and Ultiman is a long key. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey Staffix, thank you so much for 60 months. Good morning, good morning. How is you? Oh my god, I have so many things for the pool, I just now realize. Do I still have the beer pong uh, thing for the pool? Oh my god. And now that we have more space in the car, because only four people in the car. Ah. How much stuff fits into a Tesla? Probably a lot. Thanks for the 31 months, Speedman, what's up? <laughs> I'm gonna have to investigate what I have in the basement after this. Yeah, there, uh, there's a, a beer pong pool. Uh, I'll show you. Beer pong pool. It looks like this. Like it just floats in the water and it has these things where you put the cups in. <laughs> It's kind of stupid though. It doesn't work that well. It's a little bit, uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of messed up. Cause it's floating around obviously and yeah, it's, it's, it's not great. It's more of a gimmick thing. <laughs> of course. You only have to bring stupid things when you go on holiday. <laughs> Treat you better, good by love, I see you never. It's so disgusting, I like it. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. Because we, we also used it as a table for it, because we had the small one. We had these small ones. So you can just use it as like a table for your drinks. Like when you're in the pool, you can just like put your beer in it. <laughs> Instead of putting it on the side. I'll see you never. All together. Hi Mika, good morning. Uh, 
Then the beer floats away, the sky's grey and everything is sad. <laughs> Would you float over my beer, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see you never not together like to mama get my love in the drama let's go guys I'm on a schedule. <laughs> Vacation is waiting for me. <laughs> Let me go through my notes to see if I have everything. Together. Yeah, I think I did everything. I called the door person. I messaged the carpenter. I talked to a telologist. Yeah. We good. Yeah, I cut my hair on holiday, Mika. It's very short. <laughs> Thank you, Mika. Did you just come in here? You never typed before just to say rest and sleeper and you didn't even put the desk in the mode? I respect it. Good content. <laughs> the most important time of vacation travel is whatever isn't resolved when I lock the door to my house can fuck off. <laughs> Five, hey, Shella, I'm doing good, thank you. Three, How are you doing? Two, one. How is life? And what game mode are you currently playing? I guess you gotta ask WoW players nowadays what they do. There's so many things Alex they could be Raza doing. Alex Raza charged us with protecting the life pools from the Primalists. I pray they have not infiltrated too deeply. Ensure the eggs are safe and eliminate any threat on these sacred grounds. breathe oh my god it's the wrong spec our evoke is the wrong spec guys i was like i was like where's the breath <laughs> oh we extended oh, sure. oh. okay we're good so much at 62 months hello welcome back thank you so much starfire starfall starfire starfall <laughs> yep that's our rotation what does yours look like <laughs> oh our healer has diseased i should maybe beam these Wait, we pulled the Juggernaut? Wait, did we want to do that? I just not realized. The nameplate was too high up. 
Oh, we pulled some more? Oh man. Did the tank realize we pulled? Nice. A tank has deceased. I'm gonna shut a melt. I mean, we can release, right? Are we gonna continue or just pull them in? Plan. Maybe finish off the chill weaver and drop the shape. Uh, so, oh, I got it. I got it. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Uh, drop this shaper. Nice. Good job. Yay. We're doing it. It is happening. Nice. You don't like clamp nameplates to top off screen? No. I prefer them uh, going out of the of screen. Will not allow you to disturb Melodrusa's work. Even though it happens sometimes that I don't see a mob then. <laughs> Which to be fair, you could argue. That's pretty bad. But I just hate it when there's like a million nameplates clamping in the top. Fail. Especially when there's pools where you don't actually need to see the nameplates, like after you're done dotting and stuff, you know? Like once I'm done dotting, sometimes I just move my camera and I don't, I don't need to see the nameplates anymore unless there's something that is important with a cast or whatever. And then I don't care if they go out of my screen sometimes. I even do it on purpose. And sometimes I want the main place to be gone. If you don't need to see them, who cares if they're stacked? Well, but then they're covering my screen, though, right? You will only death for those and who guys. follow order. Ice consume you. <laughs> Ours is the true path. Yeah. So if they're like if they're clamped on top of my screen, like on top of each other, then they just like cover your screen for no reason, and it kind of looks ugly. It's mainly that, really. And uh, it's not that they cover really important things, because usually at the top of your screen there's nothing that is important, really, that you need to see, so... It's mainly, like... It's mainly the fact that I just don't like the way it looks when they're all, like, at the top. I think. You will not interfere! Because, yeah, I doubt they're really covering anything very important. I consume you! And shatter. I like how the monk just said to the tank, "Don't show your back." Shielded. It sounds so poetic. I am sorry, but I need your strength, <laughs> like, little one. Like he just tells the tank to just not turn around, like to not Be get hit in the back, and he just like he said, "Don't body. show your back." <laughs> Love that. Consume you. Don't let them see your back. Don't let them see. Be frozen and shatter. <laughs> Boss is family. You never turn your back on family. <laughs> True. My chill will freeze your bones. 
do not have a rest, but that's okay. Shield. We don't need the red paladin, it's totally I fine. Consume you. Shielded. I consume you. Oh, the red colony said sorry in chat. Zephyr. Aww. Imagine having a Repellent apologizing for getting aggro. Aww. I, I love you. this group. They're so nice and wholesome. Be frozen and shatter. Shielded. <laughs> now that you have secured the pools below, I require your aid above. <laughs> the exposed life pools are in grave danger. A powerful primalist is attempting to burn all the nesting areas. You must clear them to get to her. I will keep watch from above while I confront the dragon who is leading this. Yeah, assault. we should play the dragon. I think we Quickly, should just play it. Take the eggs. Save as many as you can. This is gonna be a one in a ten percent route, and I like it. Shielded. Shielded. Oh, we bubbled it! What a gamer! <laughs> Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. I could have pressed one of my defensives. I could have indeed done that. There would have been some buttons to my disposal that I could have used. One of them being bare form. Aye. Shielded. Oh, that's a triple. Did you see that? They all cast it on the evoker. Literally all three. Shielded. Uh, flame dance? Oh, nice. There's no way. That was not there. No, 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 no. I don't believe it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. There was no swirly. Well done. You have secured the first It was not there. Pool. Now see to the others. Proof or it didn't happen.
<laughs> hey, Chuck. Yeah, we have a dev invoker in this group. So far, I'm not. I'm not impressed, but I'm also not disappointed. I am neutral. I have neutral feelings towards this evoker. Out. Do not let the primalists desecrate this hallowed space. <laughs> Why that was a poor phrasing of that <laughs> Are you playing the purple beam now? <laughs> I am playing Fear Balloon because I feel like it. I am just feeling it. Sometimes I just feel purple. Shielded. It fits my fingernails. I always choose my talents accordingly to the color of my fingernails. As you do. Hey girl, thank you so much for the host. Appreciate that. Ah. Thank you so much. Hope you had a nice stream. What kind of gamer are you nowadays? Are you a uh, retail gamer or a MLP gamer or a Shielded. Cataclysm gamer or League of Legends? <laughs> what is it you do? <laughs> welcome everybody. Welcome, the welcome. Master of these minions. Hurry on, a fire mage gamer? <laughs> Damn. Can I read Lakata my first classic expansion? Nice. Is it actually fun? I still haven't done a classic expansion. But maybe I do have a PM. If I don't get bored. <gasps> I pulled the Dragoon! Guys, I made a mistake. Guys, I have a problem. Guys, seriously? <laughs> Guys, there's a dragon. It came out of nowhere, I swear. I... Uh, uh, it, all, it was just there all of a sudden. It wasn't me, I swear. It wasn't me. is killing me <laughs> nah not the living bomb I'm so dead oh help me somebody help me all right it's us versus flame galay <gasps> our healer died to inferno don't push the boss she don't exposed. push it attack that no. primalist before she can summon reinforcements <laughs> okay resting All right, good luck. Good luck, everyone. Zephyr. I 
Aye. Shielded. Good job. So we're gonna have so much percent. Do you get bonus loot if you do more trash? I feel like they should introduce that. <laughs> Where did this suspicious dragon come from? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wagon Bacon. Thank you very much. I cut my hair on holiday, kind of spontaneously, um, when I was in Africa for a day trip. I was in Morocco, in Tangier, and I was like, hey. I will order the sacrifice of my allies and burn through you myself! Dude, by the way, ooh, ooh, ooh. Is Growl still here? You Growl, I have a question. Do you know the shortest point in kilometers between Spain and Africa? Like the closest point between Africa and Spain? Don't Google it, of course. And no cheating, chat. You cannot escape the heat! By the he's probably gone already. He saw me pull the dragon. He is like, "What the fuck is she doing?" <gasps> oh, this guy is gonna explode! Watch it. Shielded. To the flame. come up with like a question and we're testing our friends knowledge like we call them and see if they know it and whichever friend knows it the person that is the friend Fire off is gonna get a point so basically you need to find the smartest friend that you have and call them and hope they know the, the, que the answer to the question if you want to win the game and when we had this question about um, Africa how close Africa is to um, Spain Zephyr. I was thinking, oh my god, maybe Growl knows this. Shielded. Maybe we should call Growl. Protected these Why life the fuck do you think the uh, cat would know no. that? <laughs> I don't know. Growl knows how to do Geogaster, right? So I was thinking if you know Geogaster, then maybe you also know that. It's not necessarily like perfectly related, but you know your way around a world map if you're good at Geogaster, right? You know the distances between things approximately. So I was thinking maybe. Uh, You don't have to be super precise. It was basically like Shielded. whoever is closer wins. So it's like we always ask guessing questions because I ask a friend of mine and then David asks a friend of his and then whichever friend is closer wins, right? And I think the friend that I called said 50 kilometers, I believe. And the friend that he called said 15 and the answer is like 13. So. You would have had to be really close to the correct answer to beat the other person, because the other person was really close. <laughs> With the 15 kilometers answer.
Ooh, that's actually a good point. Shielded. It's a good point. Technically, we should have asked the question differently. Yeah? We should have asked what the closest point is between Africa and mainland Spain. And not Spain. You're right, because if one person would have said it's zero, because there's parts of Africa that are part of Spain, then that answer technically would have been the correct answer. Good point, actually. No one actually said that, though. Shielded. But what would, have, what would we have done if someone said zero? Then I think that person would have won, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Technically correct is best kind of correct. Yes, that's true. Ugh. Shielded. Now the closest is uh, like the closest point is like 13 kilometers. Thirteen point three or something. Hey Theo, by the way. Zephyr. It's an enclave. You're an enclave. <laughs> oh, you talk about how much border they share. I see, I see, I see. Your force queen cannot stop us. Also, did we you know like the truth? Do you know the country that has the most time zones? Everyone always says Russia, but it's not. Oh, God. If you count like the islands friend. and everything, then it's I was it um My pleasure. <laughs> France, it's France, Enough. yeah. It's actually France. It's France and then it's Russia, I think. Because France is like so many like smaller islands all over the place and places that belong to France that they just have so many time zones. Was it 14? 14 or 18 or something, like some, some ridiculous number. Shielded. It is not, uh, do the, it's not America, no. The US also has a lot of time zones, but not as many as Russia and France. Are we lasting? Oh! Help! Oh! Dude, I just survived the boss hit. Help me! I'm alive, I'm alive. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm alright, I'm alright. I'm the tank now. Shit. Good job, team. We did it. Jeez, well played, well played. Thank you, champion. The life pools are safe for the moment, but the primalists are still a threat. We must be vigilant, lest we be caught the off guard 12? again. The 
da 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 I wanna be Still look pretty You round up on your 9 to 5 Do a pick up Alright Alright guys, I have to leave, unfortunately What's that called on phones where you could see all the emotes? Mm, I actually forgot Oh, France is 12? Oh, so 12 is the most, okay 12 and then Russia and the US have 11, interesting Okay guys, I have to leave, I'm gonna go on holiday Until Sunday So I won't stream tomorrow and I don't stream on a weekend anyway. So I'm actually only missing one stream, really. Well, and today was a really short stream, but... But yeah, only missing tomorrow. I'm gonna be back on Monday again. And then Monday I start a bit later again, because I'm raiding in the evening. Make sure you follow my stream if you haven't yet. Uh, I would really appreciate that. And um, if you want to know what I do on holiday, I might be posting a picture or two on my Instagram story if you want to follow me there. I'm called Nagur Everywhere. The links are in the chat and in the description and everywhere. Just click on it if you want or don't. I don't care. I do whatever you want. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you want guides and stuff, they're on my YouTube. Let me host somebody real quick and then I'll let you be. Look pretty. Hmm, who's streaming at this hour? No one. <laughs> uh. No, no. Okay, let me see. Who are we hosting? Sweet like candy. Okay, give me a moment. Hmm. Man, you remember this one guy I hosted while they were doing a subathon and then they um, went to bed as I hosted them? I want to know what the reaction was once they figured out that that, that happened. That was hilarious. This is difficult. Man, no one's playing uh, retail. <laughs> huh. Okay, let's host uh, this lady here. Rain. 
Rosa. She's German, but I'm sure she can uh, speak English too. Oh, Vivica is in her chat. <laughs> oh, the song again. Then you walked in. It was really nice. Never stolen by nobody. This guy sounds like he's crying any moment. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, have fun watching Rosa Berry. She's playing Hunter, she's doing, doing some keys. And I'll see you guys on Monday, okay? Enjoy your weekend, only do cool things and fun things and enjoy yourselves and don't forget about me existing, okay? I know I never stream anymore, but... Yeah, I don't know why I said but. That's just... period. <laughs> no thanks, but okay. <laughs> But yeah, I'm watching Rose and enjoy.